guys, welcome back to Makeup by Salad, and I'm here today with how to black lipstick. Um, this is simply because I know people when they look for bolder lipsticks or whatever, they look for less bold eyes. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do my full face go-to black lipstick when I am using Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Witches. Uh, on that note, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how I made this face. Here I'm starting off with Pixi Face Primer, whatever, so I'm just dabbing that onto my nose, forehead, cheeks, and chin. And then I'm gonna go ahead and rub it in with my hands. Taking my Benefit Boing Concealer, medium, and a little concealer brush, I'm just going to go ahead and scrape out whatever's left in this pan and putting that under my eyes for those under eye circles. Taking my Morph Cream Contour Kit, I'm going to go ahead and cream contour how I would usually do. I showed how to do this in my contouring video so we're gonna run through it very quickly this time. I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight parts of my face, bridge of the nose, forehead, chin, and then we're gonna contour with the darker color. So stay tuned and find out. And then taking a beauty blender, you're going to blend it out until it kind of looks like this. And now I'm taking my favorite bronzer, Sun Bunny from Too Faced, and a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some of that product over the cream contour to set it. Then seductively grabbing our Sephora 75 contour brush and the NYX contour powder kit. I'm using that banana-ish color to set the highlight parts. Using Too Faced Love Flush in Your Love is King. I obviously do not know how to apply blush today. Um, I do go back later to blend that out more, so for now, just bear with me. Taking a fan brush and a highlighter from the NYX Contour Kit, I'm just going to go ahead and put that on my cheekbones, nose, uh, top of the lip, and everywhere. I like looking like a disco ball. Then taking NYX Brow Cake in brown and a tiny angled brush, we're gonna go ahead and get our brows filled in, just lining the bottom and then kind of just fill in in any awkward spaces. So now moving on to the eyes, I'm using my Smashbox 24 hour primer on my eyelids as usual. I'm gonna go ahead and pat that on with my ring finger. Taking the next jumbo eye pencil in milk, I'm also dabbing that onto the center of my lids to act as a base. And then after that, we are taking a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm using colors from the Vice 4 palette. But really any neutrals work right now, I'm just dabbing discreet onto the center of my eyelid, but then again, any just light 
whitish color would work. Taking the blending brush, I'm taking the color Bitter and heading that onto the crease as a transition-ish color to add some dimension to the eyes. And I am falling out of the frame, so I'm sorry guys, but just remember to blend until your heart is content. After that, I wanted to brighten up the eyes a little bit more, so I'm taking the same blending brush and the color bones, and I dabbed that onto the center of my lids and finished blending out. Taking a flat little square brush, or you could also use a little angled brush for this as well, I'm tight lining the eyes with a regular black eyeshadow, and that's just to prep us for our lashes. <laughs> Moving on to Benefit, their Real Tinted Primer, um, my holy grail primer at this point for my lashes because I have never found a primer that did not mess up my eyes throughout the day. Uh, just go ahead and get that all over your top lashes. Now using these little accent Sephora corner lashes, and other brands have them I'm pretty sure and putting glue on them, waiting for the glue to get tacky, and sticking them onto the outer corner of your eyelashes, which I feel like they just have that perfect little extra boost because we want to focus more on lashes, not so much on lines and wings and stuff. And then taking any liquid liner that you have, just kind of retouch up where maybe the tight lining uh, fell through just to make sure it's even with the false lashes that you applied. And lastly, I'm taking my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and putting that all over my fake lashes and my personal lashes. Now really getting into business, we're taking our Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Witches and I kind of start by dabbing it on the center of my bottom lips and working my way out, taking my time with it because I don't want to get black lipstick all over my face and I also don't want it to be super opaque. So I do go over and then do that little lippy thingy and then go back over it just to make sure that everything is nice and dark and even. Last up, we are taking a matte setting spray and just getting that all over my face. And that's about it for today's look. Don't forget to subscribe and come back for more. Bye.